is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Thank you, Tommy O'Brien, for our market kickoff at 9 a.m. this morning. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 132 at 30,048. Gosh, that 30,000 uh, millennial millennium level is going to be quite important psychologically and physically. So we're going to be watching that very closely here. We're looking at this. So the Dow is down a half a percent. Look at this. The S&P is down 0.72%, uh, down 27 at 37.62. Uh, the QQQ, and this is after the Fed announcement yesterday, where the market slumped and had a huge spike to the upside and then just collapsed, going all the way into the uh, close. We've got the QQQ and the X100 trading down uh, 3.29 over a percent at 280.23. All the technicals are right at support levels. That is where the stochastic is uh, either single digits or just getting close to the single digits. We're, we're very close to at least an oversold uh, an attempt at a balance. You're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, down 2.83 at 172.52. Yeah, the stochastic's at 11%. Now, gold, uh, gold is trying to find some kind of support. It's up five at 1680. Once again, we're looking at one, two, three, four. This is the sixth, it's called the seventh day that's testing the 1660 uh, area. Uh, we're at 1681, and uh, we'll see how we can close over the next few days. Going into next week, the, the, the gold needs to get to the 1720s if it's going to show any strength at all, certainly not under the 1650s. And if you're looking at the uh, dollar, king dollar, looking at it up 28 ticks at 110.92, uh, multi-decade high and this is going to be very important how does it follow through over the next few days does it start to give back some in the next couple of days we'll see we're looking at the TLT and now this is something lower again down 2.70 at 105.34 going into the monthly inside track support level I, this is terrible that means yields are going much higher and you're looking at the crude oil holding steady at about uh, 84 We'll talk about this when I get back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour coming up. Check out my opening call, Daily News. Da -da.